it's a maritime breakfast. <laughs> We're halfway to Inverary. <laughs> Come on, Pikey Mikey. Hurry. Too too old. Nice to be back. Huh? Yeah, after two years. There's nobody been through here for a few days. There's cobwebs on my face. You not feel the cobwebs as you walk in? No. It's an indication that nobody's been through here for a little while. Is it? <laughs> Ricky has just told me some amazing news. Tell, tell the viewers, ready? In the past year and a half, I have had about 15 fishermen asking me where Pikey Mikey fishes. <laughs> I, Pikey oh, Mikey fishes so, here! <laughs> if you're looking for his fishing spot, come and speak to me. <laughs> it's a secret spot! Put him in charge you. <laughs> I'm in charge you for the secrets. Yeah, it's a secret spot. <laughs> That's brilliant. Cheers, guys. Nothing better than a cold IPA. When you're setting up the campsite. How's it going, Chris? Have you nearly done it? Nearly done. Got our pillows. Pillows. Your bed. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. We're going back to the car so we can get some of our stuff. Like, what else left in there, Annie? Most importantly, all my fishing gear <laughs> and booze. Uh, Forgotten. I don't think there's that much. Oh, the barbecue. Oh, yeah. The gas heaters. Gas heaters. The cooker. Water. <laughs> yeah, we're getting our bottled water this time because somebody lost the uh, <laughs> thingy. What do you call it? The water filter. The water filter. I wonder who could have lost that. You. Oh, I always Because you always look after your stuff, not me. Okay, so I've covered this before in previous videos, but anybody that hasn't seen them and want to know the rig I'm using, dead, dead simple. I'm running a running ledger with a six ounce weight on here. You can see that runs, so when the fish takes it, it's not got any resistance. I've put a buffer bead on here made of rubber, and basically that just stops the friction of that weight hitting and weakening the, uh, the, the, the braid which is attached to, attached to this swivel. Then the business end, I've got a 40 pound trace on there with uh, two size four treble hooks. People have asked me in other videos why they've got those red things on. They're basically just attractors. When the pike sees those, it can sometimes induce them to, to well, basically to take the fish. And that's kind of it, dead simple setup. And uh, now I'm gonna bait up one of these uh, sardines. Because pike always eat fish head first, right? the way I position the hooks is, is that I have the last hook here and the first hook there. And then that means that when the pike picks up the bait, it will either swim off with it and then stop, or it will immediately do this and it will turn the fish head first and then devour it. And that's why I don't like to leave it too long when I strike, because if I let the fish, the pike, eat all of that, then 
the first hook is going to be really deep, really deep down, and that would sadly result to the end of the fish's life. So that's why I strike early. If I miss a fish and I pull it too soon and I lose that fish, well, you know, I'll catch that fish another day. So let me do this and get it baited up. So I'm taking the second hook and I'm placing this through its tail like that. Always be careful with these, and I've got it on there, and then I'm going to get the first hook, and I'm going to put this onto the gill cover, which is always tough, and that's on there nicely, and then finally what I do is, is I like to use some of this bait elastic, and what I do with this is, is I wrap it around the top hook, because obviously when I'm casting out, that's going to put that fish through considerable g-forces, which can really, can literally rip the hooks out. And especially when the fish is getting old, which this is. I'm going to turn this round, and normally I give it around about 15 to 20 wraps, and this just bites it on. I have to say, this is the first time I've ever used sardines here. Now I've done that, I'm just going to pull that there and then just give that one under there and pull that back and there we have the elastic on there and we've got a nicely presented sardine so let's get it out there so i'm just going to lob it out maybe 20 or 30 yards than that's before nicely. Just winding in some of the slack, Just winding in some of the slack, putting it into the holder, wind that slack in and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the line through the bite indicator and what happens there if the fish takes line it basically beeps or if the fish comes towards me, it takes line. So now this is called the bait runner. At the moment, it won't, the reel won't release any line. So I put the bait runner on by pushing it up. And now look, it will. And then I'm going to use this bobbin. And I'm going to attach the bobbin to the line. And put that down. Now, if the fish swims away from the rod, the bobbin's going to go up, and this is what will happen. If it comes back towards me, you'll see that the bite indicator is sounding. So it's a really good indication. You get false bites during the uh, when it's windy because the wind's buffeting the rods and the line, but you can tell when it's a bite because. When it's wind, windy, it's like in a rhythm, it, you can just tell, and it's just like beep, beep. But if the proper fish goes, and the proper fish runs, then it sounds completely different. And that's that rod set and ready to go. And I estimate we'll probably be back again shortly. Again, I'll strike. Here we go. You need to strike no honey. No, where? How is he going to lose it? He's eating it now. He makes a couple more moves and I'm into it. There. It's moving now. It's not moving now. Spot it. Why are you taking ages, honey? I, do, you know, do you not remember when I explained it to the viewers? Do you remember? Yeah. You tell me, why, why, why am I leaving it? Because you don't want it to be like, oh, there you go. Now I'll take it. Now, you've got to be a meal. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's a barracuda. <laughs> 
I told you it's a barracuda. Look at the weight of that. Look at that. Look how it bends. Yeah, I should, I should, I've been 10 pounds at least. That's a heavy, that's a heavy hat. You feel it? Oh, food there. Yeah. Right. That'll be a good 10. Nice fish. Nice fish. He's a nice fish. Put a mouth on that. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Keep right up. Yeah, that's it. it. Yeah, you can keep winding it in. You'll feel it when it takes it off. <laughs> <laughs> you, see, you have to do it. Don't let go of that rod. <laughs> keep hold of it tight, Chris. God, this is heavy. Oh, no, 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 no. You're alright, you're alright. <laughs> <laughs> is it good? Well, That's it, keep your rod up, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, oh, keep connected to it. Now, right, slow down, just keep, keep keep it tight, keep it tight. Okay. Don't stop winding, stop winding, can you stop winding? Oh my god, what the hell is it? Oh, it's a little jack. It's a weasy little jack. <laughs> right, just keep it there, don't wind it anymore because I've got to get the net in. Right, it'll take off because it's seen the net, yeah? Keep it away from that line, turn it over this way. Right, towards me, towards me, towards me. Right, walk backwards, walk backwards. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's your first fish, Chris. Well done. Eighty-two Celsius. Right. Oh, I think this is okay now. Eighty-two. Eighty-two. What's that? Seventy-nine. Seventy-nine. That's a little bit. Another fifteen minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah, ten minutes.
dinner is served. Oh, I'm going to demolish this, Chris. Oh, look at that. <laughs> suggest you get some kitchen roll because that is going to be so juicy. Yeah. I'm going to have the legs straight away. Oh my god, honey, I love it. There you go. There you go. Start winding it in. Keep, go, keep contact with it. Wind in. Mark, it's so heavy. I know it is, Chris. It's gone. Oh, have you looked? No, keep winding. Keep winding. Keep winding fast. Is it on or not? Insurance, honey, huh? I've pressed the drone. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, no. It's alright, insured. Oh, smash the old. What about the camera? Camera's nice as well. How did you manage that, honey? I did it on purpose, Chris. <laughs> I did it on purpose because I was bored. I thought I'll just crash the drone. No, because you did very, very good. Good job for insurance. <laughs> <laughs>